I write for a women's magazine, and we mm -hmm. receive a lot of email and stuff about issues that I see in your movie. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to ask you first. Which ones? Oof. I'm working um, moms and... Working moms and women against women. No, was, yes, yeah. That was really interesting, for example. Yes. So why did you decide to add that issue? Well, you know, it's a tiny little moment in the movie, um, but I think it's real. I think when... Uh, mom, I experienced it myself. I was always a working mother. And there are the moms that sort of hang at the school all day and get on every committee, and they're always the room mom, and they get that room mom job before I could even, you know, ask if I could do it. And then there are the, those of us who drop our child at school, and then we go to work, and then if we can come back, we will. If we can't, the nanny will get them. But you always, I always felt there was this slight tension from them, not from me. I never feel that the working moms are critical of the stay-at-home moms, but I feel the stay-at-home moms, not all, I'm never saying this is everybody, but some. And so really, the two women that I wrote in the movie um, have a conversation with Anne Hathaway that happened to me 32 years ago. And I thought, should I put this in the movie? It's 32 years later, maybe this doesn't happen anymore. So I checked with all the young women I know that have small kids, and I said, I'm writing this. Does this still happen? Every single one of them said, absolutely happens to us all the time, so I left it in. Why do you think that is? How is it that everything's changed so much for women and this is still happening? You know, I don't really know the answer, uh, but there is something amiss in the communication from women to women, you know? And I think uh, any kind of judging of each other is such a mistake. and. It's so hard being a mom, and when you take a full-time job on top of that, and when you're helping to support your family, or in her case, support her family, you wish there'd be more understanding. And there's another thing that I really wanted to ask you yeah. about. You seem to work with the idea that chivalry and feminism are not against each other. No. I found that really interesting. Not How at all. Well, I'm, without a doubt, a very strong feminist. And since I've been in New York this week, I've noticed when I walk into a building and there's a guy walking into the building, you know, I pause because I think he's going to open the door, which he does, then he goes through it. <laughs> I just think it's common courtesy, you know? There's an older woman standing there with you. You could be nice and not, like, brush past me. So I don't like that. I like manners. I like manners from women as well, you know, not just men. And what do you feel is still the, the biggest challenge that women face in the workplace? Uh, so what is the biggest challenge? I think the um, work-life, home-life balance is the biggest challenge, without a doubt, because, um, you know, I still think men don't share equally the way women really cover it all. I really think men still, f there's a freedom for them to not worry so much about what happens at home or make sure they're home for dinner or calling home to make sure that certain things are taken care of. And, I think that's the biggest challenge, really trying to balance that in a way where you're not running yourself ragged. And that's what's so good about her situation, is because her husband's there. And that's the best. She, she doesn't have to worry as much. She's free to do, create her business and be the, be the person at work that she needs to be.